I'd say this. There are a lot more Korean War veterans out there than you know. I think they are beginning to step up a little bit as World War II guys die. Yeah, I do notice um, when you look at these Veterans Day events, often you'll see at least one or two Korean War veterans on the planning committee or you know, doing something with it. Um, the other thing I'd say about this book is, you know, I think it's a very um, unacademic book. I mean, it's well-researched, but I think it is very readable. It really is. If, if I had to give it a title, I'd call it a biography. It's really a biography of these Korean War veterans and talking about their lives. I think it's um, open to a broader audience than just a professor. You know, the, the words in it are not huge. You know, it's, it's written at a level where anyone could enjoy it. You know, I think even maybe a high school student or junior high. The other thing I'd say is it's a very relevant topic for today. You know, it, you know the, In the Shadow of the Greatest Generation talks a lot about what it's like for these veterans coming home. And in many ways, their experience is not that different from what our Iraq and Afghanistan soldiers are facing as they come home. And the problems are the same. It doesn't matter what war you look at when you're talking about the impact of combat on the individual psyche and on a generation of people and what it does to even the society that sends them when they come back. That doesn't change. And this book talks about that. And, you know, it may not be that Iraq or Afghanistan generation, but the experiences are very similar. And, you know, I teach at a community college in North Carolina, and a lot of my students are veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan. And a lot of them, you know, as I was looking for, how do I say this in technical terms for military? You know, what do I call this? What is this? You know, they would read sections of the book, and they were amazed. They would say, this is just how it was for me. So I think it's, uh, you know, it's not just a, a narrow book that a select few will read or can read. I think it's very accessible.